Hey there! Welcome to this video. How to apply mass scaling in Abacus environment to speed up explicit procedure. To find out what are mass scaling and time scaling, please watch this video. In the current video, settings of Abacus explicit time increments and mass scaling are explained. When we create an explicit step, at first we enter the time period. We can artificially decrease this time and speed up the solution. This type of speeding up is called, time scaling. In the incrementation tab, we can use either automatic or fixed time incrementation. In the fixed type, we can enter a strict size of the increment by the user defined increment size option. If you use this option, you should take care of the size to be stable. In the fixed type, we can also use initial increment time estimation by the software and multiply it by this factor. In automatic type, we can use global or element by element options. A global estimation algorithm determines a stable time increment based on the highest frequency of the model. In general, the stable time increment determined by the global estimator will be greater than the stable time increment determined by the element by element estimator. The stable time increment can also be limited to a value which is entered in this box. The value of time scaling factor is multiplied by the time increment which is calculated by the software. We can use mass scaling tab for further control on time increment. If this option is toggled on the setting is propagated from the previous step. To define a new setting for mass scaling, this option should be toggled on. Now we can create a mass scaling settings. In the semi-automatic option, at first we define that whether we want to apply mass scaling to the whole model or to a special set. Then we need to choose between, at the beginning, or throughout step. Fixed mass scaling is performed once at the beginning of the step. Variable mass scaling throughout step is most useful when the stiffness properties that control the stable time increment change drastically during a step. In this box we can enter the value of the scaling factor. Please notice that increment time is increased by the square root of this value. If we toggle this option on, the software calculates the required scaling factor to reach to a specified time increment. There are three options in scale to target type. First, scaling the mass uniformly. This method is useful for quasi-static analyzes in which the kinetic energy in the model should remain small. This approach is similar to defining a scale factor directly. However, with this method the mass scaling factor is determined by abacus instead of user. Second, if below minimum target. Scaling elements with element stable time increments below a user specified value is appropriate for both quasi-static and dynamic analyzes. It is useful for increasing the element stable time increment of the most critical elements. Third, non-uniformly to equal target. This method scales all elements mass such that they have the same stable time increment. Because of the drastic change in mass properties, this approach is appropriate only for quasi-static analyzes. Automatic mass scaling is used for analysis of bulk metal rolling. In this case, we must specify estimated values for the average velocity, the average element length in the rolling direction, and the number of nodes in the cross-section of the product. Either the frequency in increments or the number of intervals must be specified to define how frequently mass scaling is to be performed. If we want to discontinue all of the mass scaling methods of the prior step, we use reinitialize mass matrix or disable mass scaling throughout step. In the former, element masses revert to their original values at the beginning of the step. In the latter, mass scaling throughout step is disabled. Thanks for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment, or a subscribe.